Hey everyone, it's Wade Brian playing Distorted Travesty 3, and I am headed to the next gate. And I have no life. So I'm gonna die. It's gonna be great. And now this is up, because I talked to Friendly Man there. Hmm. Where? over here uh, there we go hmm don't shoot me uh, there's a chest Somewhere around here. I think it's right here. No! I don't know what that G means. I have no idea what that is. It's not a missile pack. Uh, I don't know. Now I'm gonna fall. All the way down. should just be... Yeah, yeah, you just get a skill point like that. And I think I will need exactly all of those to max out my thing. <laughs> can I get up there from... I don't think I can. I'm gonna try it. Uh, not with you. Oh boy, I'm, I'm gonna wait for you to, like, fall down. There we go. Oh, okay. Hello, Snowy Mountains. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> uh, well. Alright. Okay. Just getting my life back, and I'll get this now. Internets. Which means I get to climb back up again. But, it's be faster. I'm pretty sure the left way is gonna be faster just to get to the next gate, but I'm exploring! I'm exploring! Oh, so I'm even using Claire. Willfully. Hey! And there's gonna be the gate, and I need you to get something because I remember. Whoa! Oh, it's down there. I thought a heart was missing. Guys, just keep falling down. Oh my gosh. Just. <sighs> oh my gosh. Do the birds? Only help, yeah, the birds only help Jerry. It's pretty funny. Oh my gosh, like, I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Ugh! Whew! I'm gonna go down this way. something over there? No, okay. Yep, it's another one of those creepy gate things. I wonder where this one will take us. I'm really curious about that myself. I know. I can't go in here. The quest is over. No, I have to go this way. Ba, 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 ba. Awesome. Now you can fight back, though, as before, we need to find what's locking the ability to this world. Remember, you won't be able to use it outside of this place till then. I've started to get my awesome back, so I'm cool with that. 
Wait a minute. It said only Jerry. What about me? You don't get to be as awesome as me. First, I'm the one that gets locked out of the world, and now I don't get to share in this. How is this fair? When you're as cool as me, you don't question the rules. Oh, shut up, Jerry. That doesn't even make sense. Jeremy, what's going on? You better have a good answer, or, or I'm sending your sister after you. And what would happen if I said, I don't know? Ah, uh, ciao. I think these abilities choose the person based off their innermost desires of the heart. But we're in a program. Jerry would even, Jerry would even say that doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I am about to rage so hard. That little game of rage never hurt. Ah, uh, shut it, Jerry. Okay, Jeremy. Any idea where this ability lock thingy is? Not entirely sure yet, though there is a program chip here. That's our best bet. I've pinned down its location in the Great Palace. Oh, hell no. I lost so many times there. I'm pretty sure it's going to be worse than that. I'm starting to like this. It's obviously sealed up, and I'm pretty sure some cleverly concealed MacGuffins will do the trick for this seal. You have no idea where they are, right? Not at all, but you're a decent enough Zelda explorer guy. Right, I hope. Just find some town somewhere. I'm sure the people will lead us to where we need to go. Oh yes, one other thing. Claire can't be swapped in while these effects are in place. She'd be useless anyway since she has no abilities. What a way to say it. And don't even think about making a cheap shot, Jerry. Oh, come on now. That's too easy. I'd never do that. Yeah! Look at that! Uh, I thought... Huh. Hey, I'm still going to sword forever. Interesting. No, I didn't. Hmm. I thought there was a thing you could do. Whatever. Okay. What the hell? This didn't have random encounters. Yeah, there's a bug or something interfering with how it's supposed to work. Well, yeah, any way to fix that? There is, I'm sure, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. There's a town close by. Go check that out. But first, I can kill things now. Um, I gotta get secrets. I got to get secrets. Oh, I, I should check out my skills now that I've opened this gate. Uh, Cause yes, okay. So, that's gonna be real important. Okay, so... I... Oh, I need level two. No, I can't get you. Uh, I'm gonna save up for that, though. Although I, ne I need... If I have two left, then with five, I'll get seven, so the next level I get, so I will get that. Weapon upgrades. Yeah, so now, if you played the demo, you, uh... You no longer upgrade your weapons by smacking them against enemies a bunch. Um... You now just find those upgrades throughout the world. Told you. Anything important here? Probably not, but the townsfolk can tell you where to go. No spells or abilities? You wouldn't get that lucky, Jerry. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No! Bombs will assist you. I should go in that previous house. Desert Palace! A store. Ba, 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 ba. Here we go. 
Hmm. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. I wanna get this too, but that era thing is gonna be really helpful. Desert Palace. Yeah. Okay, I think I can remove those random encounters. Just give me time. Oh man, if you can do that, I will love you forever. I don't really care as long as quick time events don't show up. Never say that particular set of words in that order ever again. different from before. Oh, first hit. Ah, oh, I missed. Oh, whoa, 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 Key. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, the dead zone, the dead zone. Uh, take that. Keep in mind they can run out. You can get arrow pickups from enemy drops. Normal stuff then. Oh, and what is that thing on the left? It recharges your arrows or any active consumable weapon. However, something to note, your arrows will automatically recharge on their own. Handy. Yeah, some quicker than others. Oh yeah, random, en random encounters were turned off. How did that happen? Figured out what the virus messed with. I just changed a 1 to a 0 and poof, it worked. Well then, thanks. I was going nuts with the random encounters out there. Oh boy. Uh. Oh, I see. Uh, this. I might have to change my controls for this. I don't like that button there. Although, actually. Should go over here into my wonderful arrow man. I'm good at video games. Octorock. Oh. oh God. <laughs> yeah, look at that. 150 damage. It 
it's uh, with with the way I have it set up, it's hard to uh, to arrow like during a jump or like wall. an arrow upgrade. I mean, like, I know a quiver upgrade, but this is a bow, so... Oh, it's a what? Obviously. <laughs> I'm silly. You, you, you made it. I thought you were gonna fall. Uh, there's gonna be potabos here. I remember. Ooh. Man, piercing arrows are great. I'm gonna abuse the shit out of those. Shoot, I, I, the, the rate at which you can fire has been lowered, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, maybe I'm just... I'm like... Hmm. Not sure. Maybe we need to be faster. You are, you are not. All right, first boss. Let us see what he does. He was a, a very simple, trivial boss, much like Bowser. So I'm curious uh, if he has changed. And there, there are red lines now. And I can no longer damage him because I need to... Oh, I gotta arrow the heads! Okay, okay. Yes. I'm, I'm a fan of this. Wow, they have a lot of freaking health. Oh, I just... Damn. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We're gonna. We're, no! <laughs> I. Really? But they have so much health! Crap. Oh, they have less health in this form. Oh, okay. I almost got it. That was a really good first attempt. Oh, jeez.
I keep missing. Yeah. All right. Boom. And we're good. And now there's no longer random battles. And now we get to do bubble land. My favorite of all lands. Easy enough. I'm deftly dodging these guys by just... Yes! I'm so good. I know I'm gonna miss things, because, like, this place was always good at hiding things from me. question is, there should be stuff up here, because I need to go down first. There's this right here. Oh look, interwebs. And maybe up here? Looks like it's set up such that you won't get into any random encounters if you just keep going in the same direction. That's nice. It's quaint. Uh, yeah, I think I've done everything here. <laughs> oh. oh, come on. I have to, like, do it from back here? There we go. Okay. Yep, it's uh it's a bridge. It's bridge time. And forced. Ooh. This is really boring for me. Now you know how I feel when you really don't want to finish that sentence. Oh no, I do. They're both cute, aren't they, sis? You thought so too? Adorable, actually. So, what's going on here? This isn't a Zelda 2 thing. How incredibly observant of you, Jerry. There's nothing to say, it just isn't a Zelda 2 thing. I have a feeling, though, that this is going to get a bit more complicated than just find key, find door. Wait, wait, there is one thing I was able to do. I've set up a map system for you, like the one you have on the mainland. These secondary maps don't have as much info, like item details, like the main one, but you can find your location and sometimes a bit of other info if I can scan for it. To get to it, press blah 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 to swap between maps when the map submenu is active. Hmm. I actually want to explore uh, outside first. I think there might be something... No. I know one of these beaches has a thing, I just can never remember which one. Alright. Horse dungeon time. So this dungeon is completely new. The old forest temple was completely changed. Oh man, it's like... How do I... Oh. So I guess... Is that... I'm not sure what this means. Whatever. Uh... Oh boy. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. 
I, I always have really, really loved the, uh, the Forest Temple theme. Why is this here? Uh, Forest Temple theme from uh, Ocarina of Time. I thought it was, like, one of the best themes in the game. Just had a really nice sort of haunting melody. Which worked, because the Forest Temple was the Poe Temple. Oh man, I don't know where to go. Oh, okay, I need that to get there. I still don't understand this. Like, what does this give me? This blue thing, right? Unless it's just a ability to see what the state of the switch blocks. Uh, whoa, you're a new guy entirely. Go, Chow. You should know what you choose to do, Jerry, but uh, just in case. They will periodically electrify themselves during this they cannot move, but melee weapons will deal no damage and you will be electrocuted. In this case, don't use normal type attacks against it while you see it electrified. It's another slime enemy. Though it's kind of adorable. It's a kind of adorable. Typos, Zephyr! This enemy was added in much, much later in the project. I typically worked on the game's events in order of beginning to end of the story. It wasn't until Chapter 18 that I went back and redid the Forest Temple from the Zelda 2 setup it had in the demo. This enemy wasn't added until then either. Well, that's great. I can't do anything here. There's going to be lots of uh, just walking around not knowing where to go. Much like the first time I did the water temple. And the second time. And the third time I did the water temple. Okay. Okay. Oh. What? What is even the point of that though? I'm just tanking it because... I don't know. Die. Because, like, you can get here normally, so what do you need that for? Yep. Okay, those are definitely bomb blocks. Hello, chest. I... I don't think I'll be able to get that even with the red things up. It doesn't look... I'm gonna need to bomb jump. That's what I need to do. Of course. Hey, it's a key. Well, there's one door I can already get to, so let us do that. Uh, no. I, they make sparkles when I attack them. I enjoy that. I want to get my AP level up so that uh, I'm not even close. Oh, wait, no, I already did AP level up. Haha, <laughs> I'm great at everything. I am much closer than not even close. Okay, I'll go in that door. Hello. Whoa. Oh! That's the switch. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> This suddenly makes so much more sense. Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess that was a feature of the fire temple. I'm sorry, forest temple. So, we're, this is back outside. And, oh, oh, it reverted itself. I cannot fall into the sky forever. Sad. But it does remember that. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, you. Oh, you. Wait, is this... What's... I have no real... feel for where I am. But that's okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm back here. Wait, that 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 turned back around? No, it's because it, it turned. Okay, when I when I exited and re-entered, it it reoriented itself. So I need to re-flip it upside down.
No, wait. This room is still upside down. So do, does this only flip one room? That makes this way more complicated. <laughs> or am I just completely misunderstanding how this works? Okay, th that was that was the entrance. So I guess I need to go into the blue place. Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. There we are. I'm not sure what I want to do, though, but... Aha, nonetheless. I can no longer make it up there. No, I don't want to... Oh, wait, uh, nope. It was the, the blue place I could fall through that I don't... Was that up there? Where was it? Okay, let's go into here. Yeah? yeah it's like... It's really hard to jump with that. I'm gonna have to change that for next video. Uh, this doesn't do anything for me. I could flip it back over, but I still want to explore things. I can't get over there. No! Well, I can get up... Yeah, see, I, I need bombs for that. That's. But now I can get up... Here? Okay. Okay. So now this place is upside down. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, I don't suppose it's gonna let me open that chest. <laughs> I appreciate that. Come on. I don't have a key. I need a key. Oh, I, pre I pressed jump, but it didn't do the jump. That's okay. I wanted my life back anyway. I'm, I'm, I really have no idea where I'm going. I am just doing stuff. I want, I, I want to find that, okay, I need to, I need to turn this screen back over so that I can get into the room with the blue blocks, I think. And that will have the the straight blue part that I couldn't get through before. I think. Like, I want to get back up here. But I can't do that without blue and with it turned over. So I just need to turn it back over and fall back into this and... Ah, there are many, many police officers out tonight. Yeah, right here. Okay. I'm just gonna let that let those sirens kinda tire themselves out.
I don't know where this led me. Uh, but I, I need to go in there. Okay, fair enough. I need- Oh, there it is. Well, I need... Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is back there. So I could just go this way. Okay, so... Can I pick up the bombs upside down? Nope, nope. <laughs> okay, so... I need to be able to get here. With the the switch, and that was terrible. There's a key there. There's a key there. And I'm gonna get that key right now. For some reason, I thought that that was a full platform. It was not. Okay, now I gotta figure out what door to use this on. I do not know. Uh, was there a locked door over here? That is the question. No. That means I think I need to fall back down. And see... See what I... Because I've definitely seen locked doors, so... Is it over here? And you! I didn't see you. I wonder if I can get that heart container. Nope. Nope, I'm back out in the front. Okay. Get up there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Can't get over there. Guess we'll flip it again. And... <laughs> Out over there. Uh, I can get that heart while upside down, and I'm pretty sure that's the intended path. Oh, you. Oh, I didn't even. I just, like, didn't see him at all. Where is that other thing? There's a locked door somewhere. The question is where? There. There we go. Hey, I remember this room. It is now... Decidedly... Okay, that was, uh, real good. Skillful play, skillful play. Come on. There we go. There's far fewer guys in there now. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, the other bombs was an upgrade. This is getting better and better. These do a lot of damage and can blow up certain objects. In other words, they rock ass. They need to be handled differently, though. The bomb itself doesn't deal any damage. You'll need to time the explosion. They explode after three seconds. I can handle that. Now that you have all three main abilities for this set, I want to tell you about ability levels. If you go into your pause menu and select the ability set submenu, you will see your abilities displayed. 
It shows your abilities power and level along with a few other statistics. When they level up, their power will boost. To do so, you may have noticed those weapon icons hidden around. Grabbing those will increase a certain abilities level by one. Easy enough, so just find the upgrades you want the most. I guess? Oh yeah, the amount of power they gain is also proportionate to their base power at level zero. And now I'm bored. Just figured I'd share that bit of info in case you actually cared for once. Okay, so we do start with... Ah, there's a little thing. Sped up detonation. I have no points. I need to get that maxed as soon as possible. Whoa, Skeletor! He's new. There's an iconic enemy. These guys are pretty stupid, though. It'll try to keep itself at an optimal distance, though, and I wonder how much we'll see of that. Anyway, when you see a sword raise, he's about to do a dashing sword strike. If you do close at the start of this, like the wolfos, he'll dash back a tiny bit. Oh yeah, you should know how to finish them off after they fall. If you don't do it in time, they'll get back up. These guys are present in a lot of the Zelda games. I always liked the Stealthos from Ocarina of Time the most. In two-on-one -on -one fights, the one you weren't engaged with tended to not attack you. They were fallen Hyrule warriors, if I remember right, and even though they were undead, I felt like they still wanted to fight with honor. Picking this level with upside down variants was tricky at times. There's a specific way I designed for the player to get through it, and every time I changed one thing to help dictate that route, it tended to make the level impossible. Making sure that by opening up another route didn't break this intended flow was challenging, but I found ways to make the level better through those iterations. Anyway. Oh, zero. Come on, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is bomb. No. I got trolled. Nope. Ah, there we go. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this. No. Third? Oh boy. Really? Didn't didn't touch either of you? I also don't like bombs on this button. Gonna have to figure this out. Controls! I get an AP level up, so I'm just gonna hit this until I can't anymore. Alright. I need my bomb time upgrades. Oh yeah, that feels way better already. Okay. Okay. Okay.
I can't get I can't get my monies. And I can't oh I can't I can't I can't I can't What? I guess you can only pick it up with like the upper part of the swing. That's weird. Uh, wait, I wanna I wanna hurt you. Nope, that didn't work. And a longer care. All right, it's bomb time. No. Ugh. There we go. Uh, actually, no. I need red up so I can get that chest. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. Okay. Now, though, I think I can do that. I don't have any real reason why. It just feels like that's what I need to do. Oh, it's a Poe. <laughs> All right. Top of the palace where a powerful weapon lies without shifting any rooms. Any rooms you flipped already don't count. Okay. Sorry, I'm not reading it. I just... So do I have to set it up beforehand, or is it guaranteed that I'll be set up beforehand when I get here? Can I... Get to the top? What does top even mean? I can't use that. You know, I didn't think uh, I'd finish Zelda in in one go, but uh, I did think I'd get farther than this.
Okay, that's the beginning again. Again? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can get that heart now. Nope. Come on, I can, I can bomb jump that. No, I, I can't? No. Oh, I got stunned. Uh, no. I can't. Hmm. I want to get up there. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that. Okay. I can continue my trek upwards. So now I need to make it... doesn't work. But I sh can I hit it again? Ah, uh, no. Fine. I believe it's possible, but I give up for now. If I was not Alpine, I would I would try it forever. Until I was sure I could not do it. Oh, there's a platform there. Okay. I'll just do it this way. No. No. Damn. Nope. <laughs> that was like a bomb jump bug. Okay, let me go down here. And now I need to be very careful. Because if I fall, I have to do that all over again. Yeah, I can definitely, I can definitely do that. Uh... <laughs> I've done it! I've done it! Take that world. Uh, I need to hit this again or I'm going to have to throw that bomb over there again. Because I can't go back the other way. Ah, uh, my bombs are not... I'm like, I'm double tapping bomb, but it's not always activating the, the quick... The quick timer. Anyway. No, no. Unimportant. Okay, 
so what am I trying to do? I'll go up that way. Yeah, I have to bomb it. And I keep trying that every time. It's almost like it doesn't work. No, wait. Now I don't know what to do. I guess I can go this way? Wait, I can't get up. I can't get up there. I'm not sure what to do. I can't get any higher. There's no there's no switch block there. I don't know. Like this this is the highest I can go. So I I, I can't I can't flip it. Did I do it? Did I... Was I supposed to get... I don't know, that heart piece or something? Like, that doesn't sound right. This, this room doesn't go anywhere. Like, the question is, did, like, did the, the sub-quest set things up for me? That's the problem. Because, like, I need to know if I need to set them up beforehand, or if he's setting them up for me. Running into things. Ugh. He probably wants you to just, like, kind of stop here and then ask his effort. I'm really confused by this. With a powerful weapon, I left a skeleton guard there. Okay, yeah, I... I'm just assuming that I... I, I don't know what I'm assuming. go up into this? That's the question. No. Okay, so basically what I need I want to try getting back to him and then seeing if that topmost room is still shifted. But I I did, the, I have to do it that way. Oh my god. Oh, wait, am I just supposed to go back? Because this is where a powerful weapon was. Oh, boy. Hope I didn't just lose because of that. There we go. Thank you, Demo. For giving me so much practice with this. Ugh. Yeah, okay, you do have to set them up in advance. And now I have to go back to where he was. Nope. Nope. 
No, Dylan. <laughs> you got me. This room's back. Uh, okay, nope. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> okay, that's that's what I wanted to have happen in the first place. There we go. No, 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 no. I guess I didn't need that first one, but... Okay, so... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Crap. That room does still exist. Uh, I don't actually need to do anything with this anymore, so I can just... Oh wait, for some reason I thought those windows were solid. <laughs> That's silly. Fuse because I found there's the bomb upgrade and it looked like the blue bomb. So what's the fuse bomb? I don't understand. Whatever. Boss time. Dead thing. Undead thing. Dead hand. The first thing it does is rise from the ground and will then slowly creep towards you. If you're on one of the platforms while it's on the ground, it may launch itself out of the ground at you. The other thing to watch for are the hands it summons. There's a limit to the number it can summon, but I wouldn't let them battle up too much. Dead Hand was a mini-boss in Ocarina of Time found at the bottom of the well on Kakariko Village and in the Shadow Temple. Oh yeah, I did see a weakness that I don't think Jeremy found. When it comes from the ceiling periodically, it's weak to your arrows. And when it launches out of the ground, it's weak to your sword while it's off the ground. This is actually the first boss encounter ever made for this engine. 
While the displaced cyborg from DT1 was made before DT was conceived, this one was the first test of a more complex enemy than just move toward player and or fire at them. It of course had to be altered somewhat to make it work for DT's, fast DT's faster paced gameplay. Okay. Was it weak during the... I took a lot of damage, but I did a lot of damage, so you know. Oh, you fucker. You asshole. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Uh, I think I need to... No, I was gonna click on Dylan. Okay, I have to click. Looks like this guy doesn't like you. His pattern is easy enough, it's just back and forth at the upper section of the room. When you see his flame flare up orange, he's going to fire a stream of bullets toward you. If it's green, get off the ground. He's about to fire a stream of bullets along the ground. It also seems he's invulnerable while his flame isn't lit. The shield hinders dead hand a bit. It slows down dead hand's generation of the grabbing hands and causes him to fire bullets at a much slower rate. A silly thing happened when I first released this level slash boss to the testers. For the most part, everything was good for a first pass, but then I looked over my notes on how Dead Hand was supposed to behave and I realized that I completely forgot to include the Poe appearing in the fight. I got a bit caught up in recoding the boss for DT3 that I forgot the addition of the Poe. Don't ask how that happened, it just does. Okay. Ah, oh, there's so many bullets. Okay. Really? There we go. Holy crap. Uh, I'm gonna end it there. 
That was much more intense than the previous forest temple. And now I gotta do two more things. So I guess I'm halfway through. That 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 works. Um Huh. I don't I still don't quite understand this map. I guess like like the big squares correspond to the actual like overworld map segments? Is that how it's supposed to work? I don't I don't get it. Cause I'm I'm at I'm at the forest palace. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, well. There's a... There are really 12 sword upgrades? Oh no, okay, it's not sword upgrades, it's just weapon upgrades in general. There are 12 weapon upgrades in this game. I don't quite understand that, but... Uh, whatever, it works. Uh... Oof. Anyway. Bye.